using Meghan Markle as our case study for today. Join me, your host, an expert in psychology and sociology, as we explore the traits and behaviors that suggest narcissistic personality disorder. It's no secret the royal family often grazes the tabloids and lately it's been about Harry and Meghan, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle. Today we are going to focus mostly on Meghan and analyze her actions through the lens of narcissism. From attempting to break royal protocol disrespecting the queen and her attitudes raised eyebrows it seemed her desire to be a princess had overweighed her dislike for royal duties once Meghan Markle was in the royal family going about her royal duties she went to all the commonwealth countries doing charitable work for the institution but all of a sudden she changed dislike for royal duties her dislike for royal protocols kept growing and in no time we found out that she wanted to leave the royal family she wanted to move to america how can someone just switch from something that they worked so hard to get and turn around and say no i don't want it anymore normally this person is not okay from attempting to break royal protocol to clashing with the queen herself, Meghan's attitude has raised eyebrows. It seemed her desire to be a princess outweighed her dislike for royal duties, leading to her step back from her position as the Duchess of Sussex. In my professional opinion, Meghan Markle's behavior exhibited traits or still exhibits traits commonly associated with narcissistic personality disorder. This disorder is normally characterized by a constant need for attention, seeking pleasure for oneself at the expense of others, and a tendency to control the conversations and situations to be in the spotlight. Like, you always want to be the center of attention. Interestingly, Meghan Markle's own half-sister, Samantha Markle, has referred to her as a narcissistic and a shallow social climber. Some of Meghan's old friends share a similar view, describing her as a calculated, strategic person in relationships and cold when she decides someone is no longer part of her life. One incident that exemplifies Meghan's narcissism is the way she ended her previous marriage with Trevor Anglison, her ex-husband. She reportedly sent her wedding ring through the post, stating that she no longer wants to be married to him. It's apparent that her sudden fame from her role in the drama series Suits played a significant role in her decision to split up from Trevor Anglison. But how can you post your wedding ring to your husband, someone who used to be your husband? How can someone do that? It's only because they are suffering from narcissistic personality disorder. Meghan's clashes with several members of the royal family as well, including Queen Elizabeth II, further demonstrates her narcissistic behavior, her resistance to following royal protocol, and her desire to do things her own way have caused personal problems, personal conflicts with her family, her new family, the royal family. For instance, the incident where Meghan allegedly made Kate Middleton to cry during Archie's baptism rehearsal highlights her need to be the center of attention. If it's Archie's birthday, Archie happens to be her son. So anything about her son is about her. And she wants to be the only one making the, the, the major decisions when it comes to anything concerning her because of the narcissistic personality disorder that she suffers from. Megan approached Kate, telling her not to steal her thunder, like not to steal attention. She must be mindful of the fact that it's her son's birthday, Archie's birthday, and it's her son's baptism, not Kate's uh, son's baptism. So Kate should be mindful of the fact that she, Megan, has to be the center of attention, not her. 
This led to an argument that, that left Kate in tears and strained the relationship between Prince Harry and Prince William. What strikes me as particularly narcissistic is that Meghan seemed to want all the privileges of being a royal, being a member of the royal family, but she doesn't want to take the responsibilities of being a member of the royal family. She quickly found herself overwhelmed by the protocol and the work involved for the institution, for the royal family. Ultimately, she decided to resign from the royal duties, from the royal household, and subsequently, she absconded with her husband, Prince Harry, to the US. From the time Meghan left the royal family to the US till now, we have seen her narcissistic personality disorder traits being exemplified we have seen them being outplayed like in many instances for instance the recent one where she was actually the center of attention because she paid to get an award and she went to get this award she was well dressed she was laid clean beautiful she looked gorgeous and that's what she wants that when she's going out she wants to be that the gorgeous princess which all the paparazzis have to come begging crawling on the ground to get photos of her to put on all the headlines all the magazines that's what megan craves for and that's what feeds her ego so it was time for her to pick up her award and they called megan's name megan's name was inscripted on a giant screen on the stage the duchess of sussex but one will wonder why would Meghan resign from the royal duties and even go to the extent of trashing the royal family but still wants to keep the titles the Duchess of Sussex and wants all the benefits that comes with bearing that title, the royal title. And she uses this same title to be inscripted on a giant screen when she is mounting the stage to get her award. How narcissistic. Another instance was when they made, they had a car chase, which wasn't catastrophic, wasn't near catastrophic. But they put out, their PR put out on all social media platforms that they were involved in a near catastrophic car chase. So the next day, most of the mainstream media and the mainstream media, social media experts were debunking this near catastrophic car chase because many people said this isn't possible in new york because most of the the traffic in new york is always bumper to bumper and there is not so much space for cars to run for all for cars to be chased in new york city so it's impossible for them to have been in a near catastrophic car chase situation but because she is suffering from narcissistic personality disorder she believes her own lies and she doesn't see it as a responsibility to come back online to tell people that it wasn't a near catastrophic car chase it was something it, it was we were involved in a car chase but it wasn't as aggravated as it was purported to be so even the taxi driver who picked them up was interviewed and he said it wasn't as bad as it was reported. So how come they will put out, put out such a thing in the news everywhere that they were involved in a catastrophic car chase situation? And Prince Harry's dad is just, he's 70, he is old. And this kind of news is not so good so for someone his age. They just put out the news and also it is really bad for any member of the royal family because princess diana died of a similar situation and yet she died of a catastrophic car chase situation so if they put out such such a statement about their, their the car chase situation in which they were involved this this isn't only about lying to the public okay People in the public are just lay people, are just people who don't really care about the royal family. But what about the royal family members when they hear about such a thing? And what if it was real? It turned out to be fake, but what if it was real? So these people 
especially Meghan Markle, she doesn't really care. She doesn't really want to take responsibility for her actions. And this year are just traits of narcissistic personality disorder. Unfortunately, there is no cure, but therapy can help. Who knows? Until when she knows, she owns up, she can take, she can sit back, reflect, and take responsibility for her actions. Only then can she seek help. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And please do not forget to subscribe. See you all next time. Until next time, take care. Bye.